I was on a flight uh, from Phoenix to Nashville, and it was uh, January of '09, and it was before the first stimulus bill was being passed, and uh, the economy wasn't doing too great back then, and there was a lot of fear um, in the news about talks of another depression and, and uh, all sorts of things, and so I just wanted to write a song to kind of, a, I think, talk about what happens when you lose your house or when you lose your job and you find yourself in financial uh, difficulty. You know, Jesus um, talks a lot, I think, about um, you know the the difficulties of being rich and inheriting the kingdom of God. And it's not because that there's something wrong with money. It's that typically when you have everything you want and you're perfectly content in your life, there's no room for God. And uh, we live in a world that quantifies our value of everything by money. Yet, the one thing that we all desperately need, which is free, is the love of God. Because God paid the price for it. And uh, so I think with Hold Us Together, I was trying to write a song that I think exposed um, just the, the pointlessness of, uh, of money. I mean, when, you know, love, it, uh, it it's not going to pay your you know, bills and it's not going to give you really fancy things. Jesus doesn't promise you, uh, you know, a, a life without trouble. In fact, he guarantees it in, in the Bible. He says you're going to have trouble. But uh, the one thing that we all need, which will carry us through those difficult times, is love. And, uh, and more importantly, uh, we need to continue to be um, people who are, who are trying to rebuild and restore culture you know, in the world, which includes kind of saying we're I guess where um, where Cain said, "I am my brother's keeper," that the church would say, "I am my brother's keeper," and uh, when we care for those who go without, we make God visible. You.